So the boys are um, in some great form. Roger's been absolutely up and about. So how's the season been for you and the boys personally? Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a bit different. Like it's the first time we've got a win in the first three rounds, which has been nice. But um, four and two at the moment, um, you know, body's holding up pretty well, which I've had a bit of trouble with in, in uh, the last couple of seasons. But, um, you know, it's good to get a few wins on the board. And, um, you know, we've dropped a couple, but I think we've still had good patches internally did you feel the goalpost shift because i know as a fan i was at the start of the season going if we sneak into eight happy days are here to stay and then we sneak the first three on the board and i've gone if we don't make the top four it's a disaster and now we're floating around now, and, and now we're floating around seventh and i'm there going all right this is this yeah day. but at the start of the season if you offered me seventh would mm. have been elated um, I think, you know, the, the belief's always there and then, you know, the, you've got new coaches and um, I think that always changes, you know, belief and it's fresh, um, you know, fresh game plan. Um, I think in the previous years we've had fresh players but similar coaches, so we're playing the same way with different players. So, um, and I think we're still adapting to this. So I think there's definitely room for growth and I think that's why, you know, we're putting on some big scores and then I don't think we've been able to do that for four quarters, but I think that's super exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. I love watching it as a neutral. I've got this sort of like connection with the Carlton fans and the Carlton Football Club because I am a big D's nuffy and I've seen my club go through similar situations where you feel like you're on the way up but then you're not quite but then you are. Um, there's clearly been a change this year. Is there anything you could put like a, a finger on it that's changed around the club? Um, I think like confidence and, and belief um, go a huge way in, in, in football, I think, and momentum is like... If you believe, you know, you, I, I don't know. I feel like it's belief, like proper belief. Yeah. Um, and, you you know, when, when a team gets out, they can get a run on. Is, um, there, is there anything in particular that's installed that belief it, compared to other seasons? Is um, it Vossi? Uh, is it Vossi uh, walking around? Cause he is well, a, he is like a really great motivator. Mm. And, you know, the way he plays, he inspires just through who he was, I guess, to mm, play, for sure. um, you know, good football and a good brand of football. Um, but I think there's, you know, been... A lot of good role players come into the side this year. Um, and, yeah, I think trying to share the workload instead of like, yeah. you know, leaving up to Cripper and Harry. I think one of <laughs> our better role players is Ow. Jack Silvani. <laughs> Sausage. Out. Sausage. <laughs> and uh, obviously, um, where's the number one, you know, in celebration of his uh, father and his grandfather. I want to know, were you tempted at all when you came down to the club to wear the number 14 for your father, Brad Fisher? <laughs> <laughs> Sam Fisher? <laughs> <laughs> I think called Sam a fair bit, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Is, is could he be, the could be a listener. Saint, So Sam was the Saints, wasn't he? Yeah. You never got Brad? Do you know Brad? I, I've met Brad, but I don't know him too well. 99 um, Gamer, one off the century. Bad luck, Brad. I, I think just, Brad I, was a bit too tall for me to be my dad. Uh, but. There you go. <laughs> could have been a tall mum. <laughs> Let's get back to the serious stuff, Rog. Um, an emergence of a player that Rog absolutely froths and I froth as well is Matt Kennedy. How good has his form been this season? The nuclear bomb. He has it all. <laughs> yeah, super. I think he's a, he's a pretty high draft pick, but um, for him to get... Because he's been in and out of the side last couple of years, I think everyone's just so happy that he's been able to put you know together a good little patch and hopefully he can keep growing on that. But mm -hmm. I think but he's a great character as well, so everyone's super happy that he's been able to play some good football. I've never been a membership microwaver, but when he got sent to the rookie list that was the first time where i seriously went hang on am i the only person that's watching this football club am i the only one who sees what is actually happening out there he's getting onto the rookie list but to see him now i reckon he's asking for three or four years i think is what the whispers are on the fcn so give him 10 give him 10 <laughs> absolutely um i want to ask about your footy at the moment um how are you finding being down because initially like i was like Zach Fisher is a gun in the guts. <laughs> like, I used to watch it. I'm like, oh, it's just the way you zip in and out. I, I just absolutely loved it. And now you're playing forward and you're slotting snags for fun down there. So how are you finding the uh, yeah your your personal year? Oh, I'm finding it um, a bit easier, you know, playing under H and Charlie, Jack and Jack, Ma well, Jack Mon, Jack Silvani. Yep. So that's been really good. And I think um, it's been really good getting a bit of continuity with the group as well. Um, and then just enjoying having fun down there with the boys. And I think when the midfield are getting us good, you know, they're giving us the ball, it's um, yeah, pretty fun down there. Yeah, elite. Um, have you tried to sort of take over Eddie Betts' mantle? Because that goal <laughs> against Port Adelaide was absolutely absurd where you slotted it from the boundary I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I meant it, um, yeah. but he's kicked about 100 of those and for my one. So. 99 to go, though. <laughs> pretty good start. Do you reckon that's your best goal in your career? 
I reckon my favourite of yours was your first. I was there versus the Gold Coast and the left sleeper, and we were going, oh my, who have we got on our hands here? I, th- I think my favourites, I kicked <laughs> one against Sydney up in Sydney. We were down by 40. Yeah. And I, I just tapped it under my boot and it went in. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, we're on here, guys. And we actually ended up winning the game. So I, it's I like all, it. it was all me. So that <laughs> was one that really motivated the boys. <laughs> it had to have been. And we're obviously well aware of your football exploits, but I'm more fascinated in um, the other side. And I want to know what it was like sort of maintaining a football career while still finding a way to have a Triple J Top 100, uh, Triple J Hottest 100 Top 10 song with losing it. No, no, Rod, wrong, <laughs> wrong Fisher. Oh, we, no, we right. Got, we got the wrong Fisher. Okay. No, right. not sorry. Soon. Sorry, no, I thought no. I just had that. No, you mixed up the Fishers today. Right, you should have said me that. Maybe one day, though, <laughs> one I might get there. Um, I want to ask about <laughs> golf. Um, so you're really into golf at the moment. You're speaking I'm about it, it before. Yeah. Um, talk us through the obsession. Well, it all started because um, <laughs> Sam Doherty, he always goes on about how he plays it. PK, what is it? I don't know what that stands for, but it's a, a pretty hard course. And I was like, can't be that hard. So I'm like, I'm going to get a better handicap than him in, in, a, in a couple of months. And now, now that I'm playing, I've realized it's actually pretty tough. Um, might take a bit longer than two months, but I will get him. It's my number one goal. So, so is it just the obsession? Like, while you're at training, are you thinking about golf? Like, yeah, like, in the gym, we've got all these broomsticks for mobility <laughs> to squat with, and I can. There's about six of us just like <laughs> yeah. practice swinging with. Uh, and at, at the at the moment, we've got about maybe I think there's like sixteen of the boys playing. So. It's good to just be a part of that as well. Uh, so aside funny. from golf, we hear that there's another passion of yours, and I'm not talking producing music and either. <laughs> uh, I believe you're somewhat of a conspiracy theorist. Is that, is that male correct? <laughs> my, my dad is. Um, I, yeah, I like to... Shout out to Brad <laughs> once more. Thanks, I, I like to go along with the theories. I think it, um, you know, he just likes questioning, you know, the norm, I guess. But um, Have you got one in particular that really comes top of mind um well you know the uh, the, ro- the royals how they're called the blue bloods my dad thinks they're lizards <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He, oh, doesn't everyone i thought yeah, that was just common no. knowledge yeah lizard people yeah they're lizards queen Blues. lizzie queen lizzie that's why they call it but it's not because of elizabeth that's not she is it. the lizard let's go not go down that rabbit hole <laughs> okay there's a little bit in that um what about so outside of football you you're into streaming and, and you do a little bit of streaming. I've seen some of the TikToks with the, the bit of wizard. I think that's changed now. Yeah, too. yeah. Is that the Jack Harlow? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Changed it too. But um, talk us through, uh, I think it's Call of Duty or definitely streaming that you're yeah. into. Yeah, well, it's another thing. When I f- It was a good way to, um, I guess, build relationship with the club because you spend how, how many ever hours on the game. But um, yeah, I just loved it. It's just played Fortnite and, and Call of Duty and now I've moved it all over to golf so I'm done for a bit. Might give it a, bre- might give You've it a given break. You've given up the gaming. Yeah, be- better addiction I think. Get, get outside, bit mm. of socialise and whatnot. You were on to FIFA for a long, long time. Oh uh, yeah, we did. Up in the hub we played a lot of FIFA up there um, and the boys were. We all just kind of go on waves I think. Whatever we're on we all go together which is kind of fun and exciting so um, at the moment it's golf and I'm excited to see what's next.